all right guys good morning and um, welcome back to front-end development um, in this tutorial we are coming to um, create a skin on top of this carousel that we have done in my previous or in my last tutorial I'm trying to show how to use a um, database you know how to call some data function directly from your box without letting PHP do things in tables but in this tutorial, I'm going to just show you how to create a skin on top of this carousel and right on top of the skin and try to make it a bit um, a bit responsive. So let's just get started. First of all, I would like you to create a, a CSS style and I'll just start by doing it. Style. In this style, I'm going to name it dark skin. Dark skin. And is a class so it should start with a dot so naming it dark skin this um, class we are creating the function is just about background so it's background we want the background to be a linear a linear gradient and um, we want the color so let me let me show you what we are actually coming to do you see here is the here is darker and here is lighter it's like that in all the pictures so that's what we want to do to get that effect you will use linear gradient where we make this one to be very transparent and this one to be a bit dark and that's exactly what I'm coming to do here so we want it to start from top uh, to bottom you don't actually have to write bottom you just want right where you want it to end for my case I want it to end to bottom so CSS we know that it will actually start from the top and end to the bottom so um, then we give the color RGBA and comma RGBA again comma all right R R G B A. okay so the color is one two three four and as for this one it's going to be one two three four I'm sorry zero point nine all right and um, haven't done that let's move on it doesn't change anything let's move on to our carousel item when you look at the carousel item look at this guy this code 12 if you don't have it just try to type it just create it and um, create this one make sure that your IMG this is your PHP HTML page is inside a div class okay and that div class is inside another div with code 12 and padding of zero okay then you are coming to type outside here you are still inside this guy because this guy ends here so you are coming to type here not inside here rather inside here all right so we are coming to do this um div class bg dark d flex display of flex but we want this display flex to be we want the test content to hide by default but when the size is a bit bigger or bigger than md we want the display to be flex at this point the display will show and we want to align our items bottom so in bootstrap they didn't use bottom they actually use end so it means the the content of this the content will be in the bottom instead of in the middle or in the top it will actually be on the bottom of the entire thing so align item bottom then um, position will be will be absolute absolute okay at this point we want to do some styling again don't be picked off but we want the, the the thing to be on the top pixels and the bottom to be zero pixels as well so having done that we are almost done um we can go ahead and start typing things we want to do but we want our things to be when we click on the test we want it to link us somewhere okay so we open an a tag we give it a tag class and we say in this class we want to the test to be color to be white so we say test white and we want to say test test capitalize so the first word of each the first letter of each word will be in capital letter capital lies 
and another thing we want to do um, okay is href h like I told you about PHP print link if you haven't checked that video I added it before adding this video so make sure make sure you checked it um, PHP print link you just about how to use this PHP function I didn't talk plenty or much about it just some overview highlights of it stuff we say we want to print which 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 at folder do we want to go we want to go to article articles and inside article we want to relocate the view page and we want to link to we want to view this record any record with the ID with this record ID this particular record ID any record with this particular record ID is what we want to view so we say articles view record ID all right so um, after that we close our a tag don't forget then we start typing I want my type to be in h1 as in I want it to be bold uh, so then class bold I know I'm talking plain I'm talking a bit, I'm a bit fast um, don't worry about it bold you can equally take this guy again or make it X and paste it here I'm doubting if it will have effect from here I most of the time it has the effect directly on the parent tag so we render what PHP echo echo what what do you think we want to echo we want to echo our headline echo data but in PHP right you have to start with data then inside your data you put a single quote and you say headline all right another thing um, after the headline we want to have a kind of a line HR a line but in in HTML HR actually stands for line so inside this line I want the style to be border color I want the border color to be white border color to be white Oh my god all right then the next thing is um span here is where i want to type the date so in this span we are coming to do some default right and we say published published this is actually our labeling published by then i want to have this b it means that anything inside this b will be bold so I want to say published by PHP echo data date created remember I have that field in my table okay so let's view what we have done all right we can see it but um, I'm not disappointed that it didn't cover the entire screen It's because we didn't specify it so to specify that just come over here where we have our BG duck and make it code 12 code 12 and give it a pattern of 5 and view it alright so we are there we want to change this BG duck to overlay remember we created a dark skin where we give it some gradient so that's what we want to change over here we look at where we typed our dark skin and we make it where we typed our bg dark we change it to dark skin dark skin you are done preview all right so it's working just as fine as we want it to do but uh let's preview it on a bigger browser when the screen is getting small it just goes away and another thing I want you to take notice of is that the length of the height of our image is not that encouraging it's not commensurate so I will change it from 400 here to 500 and also we want the test to when this guy is disappearing remember that we say it can only show the display will be flex when the size of the screen is in MD if the size of the screen is less than MD the display will be none so we want to do an opposite of that and to do an opposite of that we want to do it outside this thing remember we did our dark screen inside it but this time around we want to do it outside so I will start again with my A class 
a class test dark instead of test white because outside the guy is a white background so test dark and um, um, that is it that is it that is it uh, you can give your href href um, then over here you can give your h4 class bold and um, php echo echo data and inside here we want to e echo our headline and over here we want to print this link php print link the link we want to print here is um, article articles then the articles inside the articles we want to print a uh, uh, view and then record ID okay now we want to control the effect we want we, we are coming to tell the screen when to show this and when to hide it we want it to on default on a smaller screen anything very small we want the display to be blocked but anything at the size of uh, uh, when the screen is at MD level we want the display to be none so when the display here is none over here the display is flexed therefore it's going to show that but here when the display is blocked is going to hide over there so that's typically what we have done so let's give it some pattern px of 5 then general pattern of 3 okay review see the image is now lengthier or height the image is a bit um the height has increased and you can see the test we just added so when we as i'm sure you just notice what is happening over here so guys thank you so much for your time and when you click on the image it redirects you to where we want you to see exactly 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 so let's see if this um the other guy is actually doing the same so both of them are doing exactly what we want them to do and in our next tutorial we are going to look at how to make the the blog list you know something like this let me see if I can get it. We are coming to do this list and just look at how responsive it is when the screen is changing. So we are coming to do that. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video.